Derek, uh, uh, with Bertuzzi, are you just giving him another day, or do you have a setback or anything? No, no. Uh, still day to day, but obviously very close. Um, probably a regular season game. We probably see him tonight, so uh, we hope to see him on uh, Monday. For a veteran like that, is it good to get a game or two in under your belt? Yeah, well, I think right now, those guys, we'd like to get them three to four games at least. You know, you can see some of those guys will be trending that way. Uh, Larks, Perron, those guys will be trending that way. It's just new structure, new system, um, the reality of it. What would you like to see out of you know, Perron and Bill Hotel in the first one? Uh, you know, I. I, I sound repetitive here, but play away from the puck. Um, like to see them a little more connected within our structure. You know, sometimes those guys, when I think of Ron a little bit, he gets a little uh, loose outside of our structure. Uh, I like to see more of him connected. And Joe, like to see him get more, help us, like we're, we're trying to be as a team, more stops in our D zone. Um, I think that's something that needs to evolve in this game. And I think that happens to a lot of guys, especially playing center, a younger center in this league. It's hard to get stops, and I think he's got to improve in that, and that'll be something we'll look from him. Valeno, uh, uh, I mean, last year, uh, another young center, Rasmussen, took a, a pretty significant step the second half of the season. Is that something that Valeno can kind of, uh, or that you hope that he follows kind of the same path? Absolutely. And I think those experiences last year, I think Joe had 66 games last year. Uh, those are really valuable games of him going forward. You would like someone to just grow from that and take the next step the following year. And that's what we're hoping out of him this year. When you, when you see him on video, what, do you, what did you see? I mean, is he kind of one of those two way types that could really help? Yeah, he probably had a better skill set than I had thought. He does make some plays and uh, uh, tight ice. Um, he. Um, thinks it very well. I think he has a good feel for things. I just think it's being harder. Like he, he, he would allow some extended ozone time because I think he, he was in the right spot. He was on the defensive side of the puck, um, playing maybe a little more cautious, but playing on the right layer of the puck, but was allowing extended zone time. We'd like to see him a little harder and get some more kills in the D zone. How did you reference kind of like the analytics and advanced stats so far? I know Jay Verity has a bit of a background. But like how big a part of what you guys want to do in your process is, is that side of things? I just think it gives us a really good picture of some things. Uh, we've, in my experience in the NHL, which was four years in Tampa Bay, it was a huge asset for us. The game is so fast. I don't think it'll ever be analytic black and white. I don't think we'll ever get there. Maybe some other sports have trended, but it's a big part of it. It, it can it can give you a big picture. And one thing uh, we would talk about in Tampa, if they see it, they believe it. And sometimes just some of those analytical stats or numbers were eye-opening and it, it, it rounded out some of the guys' games. And I think that'll be a tool for us here too. Looks like you, were, you had uh, Kublai up with Larkin uh, today. Is that just kind of Good to kind of see a different look and how. Yeah, I, I think different looks. Um, we also moved Larking away from uh, Raymond uh, for tonight. And again, this is what we talked about going into camp a little blender, different looks. Uh, Bert not being available to us today um, changed that. And we want to get different guys a look with different players. and. Uh, so we kind of mix around our top six right there and kind of see how it looks. Are you going to split uh, Nadelkovic? Yes. Yep, we'll stay right to that through tonight too, uh, 30 and 30. You said you kind of like what you've seen from Colson this game, right? I have, yeah. Uh, and again, fresh start for me, uh, obviously knowing who he is and watching his run in the playoffs last year, uh, the Memorial Cup, of, you know, I, I obviously familiar with who he is, just being in the profession, but he seems to have a good confidence about himself. I think you can see, uh, for most part, a positive from his rookie camp into the red-white game, into the NHL action he's seen so far. Speaking about Raymond, what does a guy like that have to do to take that next step this season? I think some more detail in his game. You see some of these players that have success in their 
rookie year, which Raymond did, you know, now now you produced offense. Now I think he he wants it to be a part of his game. So that all of a sudden now you're thinking offense, you're leaning. I mean, even the other night he showed up in some of our negative clips where he was poaching offense, he was leaving offense, uh, putting up holes in the other end of his game. So I think it's just evolving. That offense will come when you do things right. You don't have to cheat that. And I still think he'll evolve with that because there's some, you know, again, fresh start for everyone. But as much as I've been very excited with Raymond, uh, his work ethic, his compete, his shots, his ability to place and finish it like he does, he's also lacked some some details, some loops, some turning his back on the play, some things like that, that, which is typical of all young players. But sometimes when success comes really quick for some of these players, you, you miss a little of that process of taking care of some details. So we'll try to tighten those up. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, he wants to be a player. It's just these guys understanding what it is to do it right all the time, not just some of the time. Is that the key too for like a guy like that to be able to kind of drive a line and be the feature guy on a line? You know, obviously he was a big part of that line last year, but like when you can have that well-rounded game, you can kind of be the guy on a line. One hundred percent. You want to be able to drive lines. Um, you look at someone who's having a good camp right now, Adam Ernie. If you recall, two games ago, he gets two goals. And we flip him and Andreasen just to give Andreasen a look with some different players. And then the line Adam went on uh, drove offense. So you, you want that type of player, no matter where they are throughout the lineup, to, to help drive. And obviously, uh, Raymond has that potential uh, and ability. Is this the busiest time of the year for coaching staff? Eric, I mean, I mean, once obviously the regular season is what it is, but you kind of get into a rhythm. This, I mean, these two weeks or three weeks or whatever. I mean, is this kind of like night and day? I mean, constantly, you guys. Are yeah, it's 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 been again my experience within the league, even four years in Tampa, my first year here. Yeah, camp is just the way it is. Like, a, you know, management has their grind, free agency, the draft, where it seems like you're putting eighteen hour days in. It's just, it's just you're almost used to it you, you know kind of you don't really get phased by it but it, it's it's rinse repeat rinse repeat we're running two practices um he's gonna say over right now because we have to go run another practice it's just it's just the way it is you're multitasking and um you want to get the most out of it um yes there's a lot going on in camp quick one for me what was the story offensively last night was it just that the capitals were taking away the time and space to produce no, they, they did do some good things. I mean, just watching back, we, we just watched back some of our offensive play, and they were getting some kills, and they were outnumbering us in some situations, which is where we wanted to be. But, you know, we, we produced some offense. I think it's you, you got to be realistic on where you're going to have these rosters within your camp. Um, you know, we're going through probably a little fatigue, and then you put a roster – and we have five of our four or five of our top nine out, and then you're pulling. I mean, it's going to be a little bit on us of not having some offensive pop, uh, not fully maximizing some ozone opportunities we had. But you can also, it's a reality of you know who you can expect to get offense from. It's probably a little combination of all of that.